Hello, everybody. Welcome to week eight of COVID countdown uh, to summer now, because you've probably heard uh, as of uh, this past week, um, Premier Ford has come out and announced that schools will remain closed for the rest of the school year. I mean, who could have saw this coming, right? In 30 years of teaching, I've never in my whole life uh, seen anything as crazy as this before, as I'm sure you have never have either. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll be back in September and uh, we'll be able to meet again in real life. So um, my job is to get you guys through the rest of this course as best we can from home. And I know it's not easy for you guys, um, but hopefully um, you're starting to get the rhythm and, and used to this distance learning. Um, it may become a big thing of the future, so it's something that even on its own is a good skill to have. Um, whether it's for you or not, I mean, hopefully, you know, if, if you don't like learning from home, uh, hopefully we'll be back at school again in September. But here we are in the last week of May, and actually, guys, the last week of new material, because I've been told, and you may have heard this from other teachers, um, that we are not really going to be teaching you anything new come June. So because we're not going back to school, no exams, which I guess is a good thing if you don't like writing exams, right? Um, but there will be a final project, and uh, our instructions are to give that to you in early June and um, not teach you anything new. So this last week's going to be a bit heavy, guys, because I've got a lot of stuff to go through. And um, there's still a lot of things that I didn't get to, unfortunately, in the course because of what's happened. Um, we're not going to be able to write as many great games as I originally had planned for you, but we will get to do something next week that'll be kind of fun. And it's going to tie into all the stuff we've learned this semester, especially heavily on arrays, which is why I'm going to be doing a lot of work with arrays with you this week, just so you have the skills needed to at least complete a, a half-decent project next week. All right, so in final week here, guys, this first video is just a quick setup video. Make sure that you've got everything ready to go. Um, the first thing you might notice is there's a recap here. I felt like I should, because this is our last week of new material, guys, uh, before we get to our ISU, believe it or not, next week, um, I thought I would give a little bit of a table of everything that I've been marking and everything that we've been doing, minus the first week. So first week was just sort of a let's get our feet wet kind of week, and I wasn't going to be marking anything the first week. It was just to see if you guys could get on and, and get some work done. But starting with week two, um, I've got the topic and then what the Dropbox was for that week. So most weeks, guys, are some kind of an assignment or two, or maybe more, whether they're P-applet or console, um, with the exception of uh, week seven. So uh, we did methods. Um, and all I wanted you to give me yet yeah, last week was a method worksheet. And also in week five, there was the PDF documents, the string note and the loop quiz. All right, so these are being marked as well in different categories. So, so do make sure that you um, get, get this all done. So you can use this as kind of a checklist, if you will. Um, there is no due date on this stuff, guys, except for the last day of school, June 30th. Or maybe not quite that far. Okay, let me backtrack that up a bit. Probably around June 20th when report cards are due. All right, so um, I don't want you to spend too much time getting caught up because you will need some time to work on your projects as well. But um, you certainly still do have time at this point to get any of these things done. So if you're missing something or if you've fallen behind, um, then by all means, uh, take some time to get caught up. And I will mark everything that comes to me up until the last day that I can't do that anymore. All right, so um, hopefully um, for some of you, you're all caught up. And if not, you can use this to help you get caught up. All right, so let's move on. Um, so this week, guys, we're going to start with the worksheet. Like this is kind of like my starting point for a lot of these things. And it's going to just sort of guide us through the important things I need you to know about arrays. Um, last week we did methods, and we're not done with methods yet because we're going to be using methods a lot with arrays this week. So you'll get more chance to work with those because right now um, you only have like two different programs you've done with methods. So we'll have more practice there as well. So we're going to go through the worksheet. Uh, this will be one of the things that I'm going to have you uh, submit to me as a mark. Um, there are going to be two array assignments. I originally had three, but we are getting low on time. So report card is going to be our one uh, console that we're going to do together. And then we're going to do this fun little game called Penny Pitch, where um, you get to throw little pennies into boxes and try to win some fabulous prizes. All right, so, um, so to get set up for this, guys, um, you are going to go to Google Drive. And just like always, you're going to go to Shared With Me, and you will find a copy of Array Worksheet short version because, again, we're running out of time, so I'm going to make this uh, as, as crammed in as I can. Uh, so I would like you to, of course, make a copy of this that you can then edit. So right-click, uh, make a copy, All right, and then I'm going to move that copy into my folder for grade 11, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, be able to edit it from there. Okay, I'm not even sure why I still show you this part of the video because most of you know how to do this by now. 
um, but just to be sure, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it into my period, whatever period that I want to do this in. If it's period three or period five, um, I'll do I'll do period five this time because I always pick period three. Um, all right, so it's there, and um, so if I go into there, I can open it up and start to uh, work with it. All right, so there's going to be some screenshots coming from a program or two. I guess we'll do two programs, guys. So um, I'm going to need you to, in BlueJ, create a, a week eight project. All right, so I'll just do that really quickly now. Um, so yes, you got to watch me do this as well. Um, now it's not in the right spot, but I'll just leave it. Well, I'm going to put it on my desktop for now. I'll just put it there so that I have a place for it to go. And again, I'm doing this on my Mac, so it's going to look differently for you guys, right? But uh, anywhere you put it, you know, it's fine, I guess. So um, I will call this uh, user1230. That's my generic username that I use. And this will be, of course, week eight. And OK. All right, so we're going to start with just two classes that we're going to use to get through this worksheet. All right, so um, I will call the first class um, array example or ex1. OK, and then we're going to do 2D arrays, which you don't know what those are yet, but you will soon. So I'll call this array 2D. 2D, two-dimensional uh, example two. Okay, it's our second example. All right, and these are both going to be um, console programs, right? So if we do the first one, and we can basically copy and paste that to the second one just to save ourselves some time. So we're gonna get rid of all this code except for the um, for the name of the class at the very top. All right, so I'm just gonna delete all of this here and um, delete everything down to the bottom except for a closing brace. Okay, and then I'll put in my own public static void main. Right? And this is something that you guys should be pretty used to by now. So this is the easy part, getting started, right? And I'll just put that in there. And maybe I will also, yeah, I, I guess I'll just, I'll make my console here. If I need to move it later, I can move it later. So console C equals new console. And then at the very top, of course, we're gonna have like import hsa.star, right? And that's how we always get started with these console programs. And for the note that we're doing today, guys, it's all gonna be console. Um, all right, so just to save myself some time, I'm gonna just copy this. Um, I'll compile it, make sure that works okay. And I'll go to array example 2, 2D, and I'll just paste it on top of there and just change the name of the class, right? So I'm just gonna select all of this and I'll just delete that and paste this in here and we'll call it array 2D because it has to it has to match the name of the file right example 2 and I am good to go and I think that's it all right so um, in the second video we're gonna get down to work here guys and so we've got our two uh, BlueJ files ready to go we got the note ready to go and so I will see you back in video 2 for e week